Welcome everyone. My name is Bishop Robert Williams from God's Miracle Ministry and Prophetic Information Ministries where we blow the trumpet, the shofar around the world informing you with prophetic news and bringing God's Miracle Ministry to the world. Today is September the 21st of 2020. Time now is around 1035 in the morning. And uh, I have some uh, dreams to share with you that I have been hanging on to for about four or five weeks because I didn't understand them why I was getting these dreams like this. I've never had nothing like this. And, uh, and, and this is going to be the title of my message today about the dreams. White House and Secret Service Dreams. And uh, I knew I had to get this this dream out. And I've been hanging on to it for so long and it's been tugging on my heart. It's been at the forefront of my mind. But I, I couldn't understand why I was getting these dreams. But before I get started, I want to read some scripture to you. It's going to help you understand a little bit more of why I got these dreams. If you turn in your Bibles, go to Amos 3.6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And the people be not afraid. So there'll be no evil in the city. And the Lord has not done it. We're going to go through Amos 3, 7 and 8. Surely the Lord God will do nothing. But he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. And the lion had roared, who will not fear? And the Lord God had spoken, who can but prophesy? When God does something, he's going to reveal his secrets to his servants, the prophets. And uh, let me continue. I'm going to come back to that scripture. This is the main scripture of, of what I'm talking about. If you go to Ezekiel 33.5, I heard a sound of the trumpet and took not the warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that hearkened, he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, the people be not warned. If the sword come and take any person from among them, he shall be taken away in his iniquity. But his blood shall I require at the watchman's hand. Ezekiel 33, 7. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman under the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word uh, at my mouth and warn them from me. You know, like I said, surely, back in Amos 3.7, the, the Lord says, Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. When God is going to do something here on the earth, he will start talking to his prophets. And uh, before he does it, you know, if you follow my ministry, I've got over 450 videos up here on YouTube. And uh, I have two ministry websites of Prophetic Information Ministries and God's Miracle Ministry. I, I put up a lot of dreams that the God gives me here. I, I don't put them all up, but. But I've had hundreds of dreams come to pass in my lifetime. But like I said, 
and in this dream, or the two dreams I'm going to give you, you know, you know, it's, it's tall White House and Secret Service dreams. I didn't understand why I got these, but now I do. And I knew I had to get this video out. But what was amazing, I mean, this blew me away this morning when I woke up. I was going to eat a bowl of oatmeal, but I pulled up YouTube. I just want to see what kind of news is on YouTube. Boy, was I shocked. The first video that popped up on YouTube this morning was a Sid Roth uh, video. And this is the title. He sees what's really going on inside the White House. I said, oh my God, it brought these two dreams back. And I knew today is the day that I need to get this out. Um, the person he's interviewing is John Hamill. You know, God has uh, let him have some dreams uh, about what's inside the White House. I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about some of the key things that he spoke about. But I want you to go to the Sid Roth program, It's Supernatural, and look up John Hamill and watch this video. It's a very important video. And uh, he also talked about, uh, I think it was a commercial about one of his books. But he talked about the glory claim, the, the glory train, the glory train. And uh, as a kid, you know, in the fifth, sixth grade, you know, I played football out on the playground with a bunch of boys. And they used to call me Freight Train. And then I heard a song when I was a kid. And uh, it uh, said something about <coughs> Freight Train. Or, or you know, yeah, Freight Train is bound for glory. Freight Train. I used to sing that a lot, you know, <clears throat> when the kids called me Freight Train. Because I, I, I could hang on to a football and I could, you know, haul five or six boys trying to tackle me. I could, you know, take them down to, to, the, to the goal line. I always thought that was kind of neat. But, uh, you know, he also talked about some other things. And... And this is another thing that he was talking about, that God is waking up White House watchmen. I said, oh my God. That's why I got these dreams. He's waking up White House watchmen. And uh, I was just amazed. But, you know, talking about also blowing the trumpet, before I get into it, I, as the people who follow my ministry, you know that uh, I go around parts of the country and I blow the shofar. Everywhere I go, I carry a shofar with me. And, uh, you know, here, here's a picture. Pull up this. You know, here is a picture of some of the cities around the country that I blow. I have blown the show far, and some of them are in Dallas, Texas, Kansas City, where I'm at, Topeka, Kansas, Wichita, Kansas. Um, been to St. Louis. I stood in front of forty thousand people there at the Holy Convocation for the Church of God in Christ last year in 2019 and uh, in January I blew my shofar at a national funeral for the Church of God in Christ the presiding bishop Blake was uh, officiating the service and uh, as most of you know who follow my ministry I've had several of God's generals hold my shofar my Yemenite shofar I have. 
such as Bishop Otis Clark, the last pastor of Azuzu Street, uh, Jack Cole Jr., Evangelist Joseph Buford Dow, Bishop L. F. Thuston, Chairman of the General Assembly of the Church of God in Christ. He was also my pastor for a while as well. Vincent Ma Bishop Matthew Vincent Matthews. He's on the, the board of uh, bishops for the Church of God in Christ. Bishop Blevin Lawrence, the bishop over India with the Church of God in Christ, Bishop Ernest Jefferson, and Dr. Francis Miles. Those are just a few of God's generals that has helped my show far. And uh, I thank God for that. But also, who's held my show far was Apostle Tony Kemp. Apostle Tony Kemp is Sid Ross right hand man. He's been on the show and he's hosted the show when Sid wasn't there. And I've had the opportunity to meet him a few times here in the Kansas City area. But as you all know or that follow my ministry, he was the one first one that I ever gave an Azuzu Street impartation to. And I can talk about that later. But we're talking about this dream. And uh, I want to, uh, to give you this, this dream about what the Lord showed me about the White House and the Secret Service. About four or five weeks ago, God gave me a dream. And what I, I, I was shown in this dream, I was summoned to the White House. I was uh, to meet a one of the secretaries, and he had something to do with intelligence. It, it's possible it was the uh, Homeland Security Secretary. So I, I get to the to the guard shack and the Secret Service. Uh, escorted me into the White House and uh, President Trump was uh, going to throw a big party uh, a banquet and uh, there would be I would presume world leaders there but I don't know but I wasn't there to see President Trump I walked in there and and I'm going past the the ballroom I guess and I'm looking around you know checking out this White House. I've never been there before. And, and I was looking to see if I could see President Trump, but I didn't. But I was taken into another room. And I was standing in this room, and then this guy and this lady comes in. This guy was the what was, was a person dealing with intelligence. And what they wanted to see was this. My cell phone. I had something on that cell phone that they wanted to see. So he starts looking at through my cell phone, and then this lady, one of his assistants, she handed me her cell phone. And you know how women, you know, they have a, a case. Well, this this case was looked like all diamonds or something. You know, it looked kind of fancy because she wanted to hold my cell phone too. But she couldn't do that and hold her phone. She said, hand me her phone, and I put it in my pocket. And then somebody else hands me, uh, it looked like, it's about the size of a laptop. But it wasn't a laptop. It was all in silver, and it had different buttons and switches on it. I've never seen anything like this. So I'm holding this, and they're looking through my, my, my cell phone. And then, in the dream, the Lord speaks to me. He says, tell them that Muammar Gaddafi from Libya is still alive. And uh, I, I, I was thinking to myself, I said, Lord, 
we saw him get shot and killed on television. So he said, say this. Okay, the Lord says it in my dream. I'm going to tell him. And then I, I before the meeting was over, I said, uh, by the way, Muammar Gaddafi from Libya is still alive. He rolled his eyes back and he turned around and left. And I said, oh, God, I blew it now. Uh, you know, like, maybe I'm a false prophet or something like that, you know. It, 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 it kind of hurt my feelings, but I had to deliver the message. So I'm on the way outside, the, the, you know, going through the White House and about ready to leave. But then I stopped and I said, i, I got to get my cell phone back. Plus, I have this other lady's cell phone in my pocket. And I have this silver thing that looked like a laptop. And so some of the Secret Service people that were around me, they started hitting buttons on this on this uh, laptop thing. And, and it located this lady inside the White House. So they sent probably another Secret Service agent to go get her and to bring her back. So I can give her a cell phone so I can get mine back and, and, and probably give her this... Uh, this thing that looked like a laptop back. And then uh, that dream was over. And uh, I didn't understand why I got that dream. And then about another week or two, probably about two weeks, I got another dream. And this, and, and when you watch a movie on television, it, it kind of like puts you into the movie when you're watching it. Well, this dream, I started seeing Secret Service agent on the presidential detail. It started out like I was seeing through the eyes of a Secret Service agent. And it started out with President Clinton. And then it was just a scene from like President Clinton. You can see him in the background. And... And, you know, how, how the Secret Service, you know, they walk alongside the, the presidential limousine. Well, I would get another scene from that. Another scene with another president. It, it happened from Bill Clinton to all the other presidents all the way up to Trump. And I thought, wow, why was I getting this? And, uh. I couldn't understand that, you know, and I knew I had to do a video on it, but I didn't know why. I didn't want to put nothing out that I couldn't interpret. But until today, I saw that Sid Roth program. And, and some of the things that uh, oh, uh, John Hamill spoke about, He talked about secret service in the spirit. Uh, also, he began to talk about God is waking up White House watchmen. I said, oh my God. Because, you know, I, I would like to see the whole video or, or, or get his books to find out what kind of secrets God is sharing with this guy. He's got 20 secrets or something. He's going to give like a couple of them on the show uh, about what's going on in the White House and about who's going to win the election and things like that. I, I thought it was a phenomenal program. So uh, that's why God gave me this dream about four to five weeks ago. And I've been hanging on to this dream all this time. You know, when you dream, you, you, sometimes you kind of forget the dreams. That's why I put a lot of my dreams up here on, uh, on YouTube and Facebook. But usually when I get a dream, I'll record it here on my cell phone and then I can go back and hear it again and, and sometimes I have
played it on my YouTube videos so you could get the whole dream because it was fresh. When I woke up, I would sit there and give the dream all on there and then play it later. But I didn't do it to that one because I remembered it and God won't let me forget it. So now I understand. But uh, I, I thank God for uh, giving me those dreams and not letting them go away. For it was meant for such a time as this. You know. You know. I've had hundreds of dreams in my life come to pass. You can go to my archives and you, you can hear some of my prophetic warning dreams and other dreams. And some of them, a lot of them have already came to pass, but some have not. You know, uh, I'm not going to go through any examples. Really? Well, I, I guess I could, you know, just some highlights, you know, when Dallas, Texas got tore up, I think, last year by some tornadoes. God gave me that in about a year or two in advance. And about the coming storms uh, and tornadoes uh, coming to the church, it, it's it's... It's come to pass, and it's also continuing to come to pass. You just have to go back and watch that. But, you know, God is opening up some divine appointments and doors for me right now. He's been doing that for a while. And I thank God for that opportunity to meet senior men and women of God. I've been doing this since about 1998 when I got affiliated with the Prophecy Club. and I, I volunteered for four years, and they put me on staff for four years, and I used to take care of all the speakers, and I had a lot of one-on-one -on -one contact with these speakers. And, uh, and I thank God for that. And God has given me divine connections now with His generals that's pouring into me. Like I said, Bishop Otis Clark, the last pastor of Azuzu Street. He was 107 when I met him. I had I got an impartation from him. And uh, back uh, in June of last year, I, I've been in contact with his family, his daughter and granddaughter, and they gave me some Azuzu Street anointing oil. You know, it was just a, a small bottle like this. And uh, it was in the glory cloud and in the Shekinah glory there at Azusa Street that dates back from 1906 to 1909. And uh, this is what I anoint people with when I pray for them. Yes, miracles and healings are following my ministry. People who hold my ram's heart or my Yemenite shofar, you know, they're getting healed instantly or they get the presence of God that comes upon them. And, uh, well, they get healed overnight. So far, colon cancer, breast cancer has been healed overnight. Uh, when I first got this anointing oil, God told me I had to go to this specific place on a Saturday night. You know, where I go to here in Kansas City. And, and I went there after a meeting. And uh, basically, what you know, long story short, I prayed for... Uh, uh, a 65-year-old uh, Hispanic male, and the pastor of the place brought him up to me and says, I want you to pray for him, because miracles happen when I show up, it, you know, for a while it did. And then uh, he said he had a tumor or, or nodule or something on his lung. It's been there for six months. He was going to go in on Monday morning to get scheduled for surgery to get this tumor off. So, since I got the Azuzu Street anointing oil, I prayed for him in front of a, you know, a small crowd. And uh, he goes in on Monday. They do te more tests on him and x-rays and MRIs and things like that. And I think the next day, they, his doctor calls him up and says, we don't know what happened. That tumor is not there anymore. And you don't need any surgery. You're, you're completely healed. So 
the Lord Jesus Christ healed him because I was obedient of what God told me to do. He wanted me to go there and pray. He wanted to demonstrate his power. And now he, he's really going to do that shortly. But I, it's something, you know, a lot of you follow my ministry, you know that when I was seven, eight years old, and, and God would give me, he gave me this dream that one day I'd be standing in front of thousands of people preaching and saying, in Jesus' name, you're healed. And the Lord Jesus healed them all instantly. And then I've had other dreams that I'd be filling up coliseums and, and stadiums, you know, like the Billy Graham Crusades. And, and I had a team of ministers around me, and the Lord would heal everyone who got in the line. And, and, and that is phenomenal. And now this stuff is coming to pass. I'm getting the senior men and women of God, you know. I've got the, the Azusa Street anointing. I have the Jack Cole anointing. I have the full impartation for the healing and miracle ministry from Jack Cole Jr. I got that a month before he died. And you can watch that impartation here on YouTube or go to my website at God's Miracle Ministry. You can watch that. And uh, I had his best friend call me up uh, about a month or so later after he watched the video. Name is Joseph Buford Dow. Joseph Buford Dow, I never heard of him before. But it turned out to be Jack Cole's best friend. And uh, he was uh, the organist for Jack Cole Sr., William Branham, A.A. A. Allen, Catherine Kuhlman. You know, that's, that's what I knew at the time, but he's also worked for other ministers in the past, like R.W. Shambach, and he even played for uh, Rodney Howard Brown for a little bit, or I, I don't know, but it was those two, or those four main healing evangelists, uh, God's generals, back in the 50s to the 1970s, when they had the big tent revivals. And he passed on a torch to me. He passed on some mantles to me. And the Lord spoke to me. You can li you listen in the background, uh, or listen in, in the archives, and you can find out what God did for me. And uh, I will say this, that I do have another divine uh, appointment tomorrow. Just found out about it yesterday. You know, I, I went to a, a, a synagogue on Friday. They were having the Feast of Trumpets in uh, Rosh Hashanah service. And I met up with an old friend, that, you know, or an old acquaintance that I knew from the Prophecy Club years ago. And I started talking to him, and we started talking about a job in security. And then, and I gave him an information pack that I hand out to pastors. And I also handed one out to the chief rabbi there as well. I've never met him before. But yesterday, on Sunday, I went to a church picnic. And uh, I blew the shofar there as well. And he called me up and said, I'm reading your materials and God put on my heart to uh, invite you to go to another city here in Missouri. He had uh, 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 an appointment to meet up with some of the people who are in charge of a very large denomination. I'm not going to say the denomination right now until I find out more information. But he said, get some more of those brochures ready to go, you know, those information packets about your ministry. I want you to hand it out up there. And they're going to give me a tour or give us a tour of this facility. So it's a divine connection. You know, I said, God, if you ever open up a door, I'm going to walk in it. So he's opened up another door and I'm walking in it tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to this. You know, I'm, I'm curious on what kind of dog God is opening up doors for me. And uh, I, I thank God for all that. And uh, 
I do want to put out a shout out for Jessica. Uh, I forgot her last name, but she goes to a church in Independence. And God has worked with her mightily after I prophesied to her about six months ago. And uh, God poured out his love to her and gave her a new mantle and a, a promotion in his kingdom. And uh, God gave me the opportunity to do that. I also go around the country giving out, I've been giving out Azuzu Street Revival anointings and impartations, but God told me to change that to the end time revival anointing or an impartation. Because we're getting ready for the great end time revival. It's already beginning. But God is also having me go around the country to impart this gift to people and to prophesy to them and to pray for healings and miracles, signs and wonders. And this is happening right now. I just got off a four month tour of, uh, of West Virginia and I went into Tennessee. I was about ready to head into uh, Mississippi, but God changed that at the last minute. I had to come back to Kansas City to help out one of my daughters, and I thank God for that. You know, he, he spared me from all those hurricanes that came in, and uh, to to meet other divine connections, what I'm about ready to do tomorrow, and, and get to preach in town, and uh, I thank God for that, but... Uh, I just wanted to give this to you about you know, the White House and the Secret Service dream and me seeing the Sid Roth program this morning. And, uh, and God is up to something very big right now, and I thank God for that. But like I said, uh, go back to Jessica here. I didn't finish that story. But when I was praying about two weeks ago at this church here in Independence, Missouri, uh, after my meeting, I started praying for people. And then, you know, I think she's like the third or fourth people person I prayed for. And then I had her stand at my side so she could also pray for people as well and pray for some of the women and things. But she handed me a tallit. Now, I always wear a white to lead anyway, <clears throat> and I carry my shofar everywhere I go. And she said the Lord has put on her heart uh, a few weeks earlier to get a to lead and to give it to somebody. So she hands it to me. She said, have you been praying to God for a new to lead? I said, yes, I have. Now, usually I buy my tallits, but she handed it to me. It's this one here, and it has red and, and, and gold and, you know, the, the, the seat seats on it. And, and I accepted. This is the first time I'm wearing it here on this video. And I want to keep, I'm going to continue to wear it, you know, since I've been promoted. Usually when I get a promotion from God, I get a new tallit. Well, this one, God gave me this. But, you know, later on I will be getting another garment from God whenever the time is right. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. I've been praying that in for years. So I, I thank God to put that on Jessica's heart to give me this new tallit. So I, uh, I want to thank everyone for tuning in. And uh, if you're a pastor, a bishop, uh, and you want me to come and to your church, your revival service, I will come. And, and I will pray for miracles and healings and anoint everyone with some of the original Azuzu Street anointing oil that I have. Like I said, miracles and healings are happening. You can go to my website at God's Miracle Ministry. Go to the testimony page. And you'll see testimonies from around the world. Because I also send out prayer cloths around the world. And miracles are happening all the time. You know, through the prayer cloths, as in Acts 19, verse 11 and 12. And when I pray for people. 
and uh, I, I thank God for this opportunity to be used this way. And, and talking about blowing the shofar, you know, when I was down there in, in, in the Tennessee area, I went to the field of the woods. And there they have, I think, the world's largest Ten Commandments. That is the picture you see in the background. I blew the shofar in front of that. And there are pictures uh, on, on my Facebook page of this. Uh, and then they also have a replica of Jesus' tomb there that's in Israel. And I blew my shofar in front of that as well. And, and other things they have. It's called Field of the Woods. You can go to the internet and want look, check their website out. It's a phenomenal place. So check that out. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this video. And uh, I will let you know more about this divine connection I'm going to get tomorrow. Uh, probably maybe later on in the week if God wants me to, I'll do a video on that. But like I said, if you want me to come to your church, your revival service, I will come. Just leave a comment here or go email me off of godsmiracleministry.com or propheticinformationministries.com. And uh, I just want to thank all of you for tuning in. Spread this video out here on YouTube and, and on Facebook. And if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you want to leave a comment here, leave it below the video here on YouTube or Facebook or you can send me an email if you want to share something with me just uh, just do that and uh, I, I just again I want to thank you for uh, tuning in today and uh, I will talk to you later this is Bishop Robert Williams from God's Miracle Ministry dot com and propheticinformationministries.com. Take care. God bless. I love you. And the Lord loves you. And, and, and I'll look forward to seeing you on my next video. But check out my archives. God bless you.